Hey there folks, welcome to another Train Simulator video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another great, uh, well it's it's a beta, it's not a finished product, but another great uh, freeware route that's been in the works from what I understand for quite a while. And this is of course the Kansas City Southern Shreveport sub, uh, which goes from Hevener, Oklahoma, where we're currently sat uh, right now. Uh, down to Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, now, the route itself is mainly finished down to Ashdown, Arkansas, which heads south from Hevener, Oklahoma. Well, east, then south. Let's not get into semantics. Uh, but anyway, it goes down to uh, Louisiana, Shreveport. Uh, but the Shreveport area and the Louisiana bit of it is not yet quite finished, but a majority of the map is and we'll go ahead and pop the map open and you can have a look at this chungus humongous route so we're currently here in Hevener, Oklahoma which by the way I always thought it was Hevener but I heard somebody say Hevener one day and I was like yep not Hevener uh, so yeah it goes all the way across this is this is a mountain range too by the way yeah Oklahoma has mountains um, so that's a mountain range there, namely Rich Mountain is in the middle there. And then it kind of cuts over into Arkansas and goes down, 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 down. Keeps going down, 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 down. Down, down, down. We'll get to uh, we'll get to Ashdown, Arkansas here in a minute. All right, this is Ashdown, Arkansas right here. This is about where the map stops its built scenery. Because uh, like I said, it's a beta, even though it's mainly finished. Uh, and then the rest of it goes farther south, all the way down to Shreveport, Louisiana, which has, uh, of course, a major, major KCS yard. But uh, this is a very unique place. And when I saw this, I got kind of excited because, well, for one, it's almost in my neck of the woods. This this is it's a unique area. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know how else to put it. It's a unique area because it's not west coast. It's not east coast. Uh, it's not a mountain pass. Uh, it's it's not the typical stuff that we get in Train Simulator for North American content. It's, it's a north to south route uh, down to the Gulf. I mean, most railroads ran east-west uh, and things of that nature. This is one of the first ones that ran north to south down to the uh, Gulf of Mexico. But it's a very unique place, and of course, being currently owned by the Kansas City Southern, which this is about to be history, <laughs> as history is in the making, as a lot of us know, the whole uh, Canadian Pacific merger thing going on with KCS, or KSC, I say KCS? So, that too makes it very unique as well, because we don't have anything Kansas City Southern in the game. There are a lot of great repaints out there, some of which I will be using today. These are some that you see here. This is a, a ES44DC pack, which has a ton of different uh, liveries. I will link this down below, as with the route itself and the stuff you're going to need. But this is by uh, KC Southern 32, Monchito 5, and W Lentz 781. Now, you're going to need the... Now it, it's quite a quite a list. Uh, it's it's not the largest list in the world for a route, but it's a pretty great route, so it's it's necessary and it's totally worth it. Uh, you're going to need the virtual New Haven Railroad line, the Hanover sub, Clinchfield, Livonia, Donner Pass, Stevens Pass, Norfolk Southern Inline, Miami West Palm Beach, and the KCS SD70 Mac Pack. I think if that's if that's one, if you want to use the uh, quick drives. Uh, built within you need that but um, it's not a whole lot a lot of us already have all that kind of stuff uh, for the most part but it's 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 a cool route so anyway this right here Hevener, Oklahoma where we're currently at this is where trains uh, well first and foremost this is a crew change uh, area and they refuel so it's kind of like a pit stop if you will which is pretty damn cool because it's right here on the main line uh, so trains essentially sit here load up uh, you know crew change all that good stuff i think we got some crew change vans over here yes we do so that's pretty neat um and and they get ready to attack rich mountain and get over into arkansas which is uh south and then over to the east so it's it's a unique place and uh kansas city southern has a a large uh base of operations here uh crew quarters headquarters uh 
repair shops, massive yard, all kinds of stuff. Get past that uh, that bell. We're just sitting in the in the middle of the street. No big deal. Sure, it happens all the time. But this is Hevener, Oklahoma. Uh, it was essentially settled in the 1880s, uh, essentially for great farmland and agricultural properties. Uh, in 1896, the Kansas City, Pittsburgh, and Gulf built the first tracks through town. That was essentially what became the Kansas City Southern Railroad, the uh, KC Pitts and Gulf. Uh, but they built tracks through town, and there was uh, eventually a boxcar that they left, a static boxcar that, that was used as like a post office. Because we're talking pioneer, like settler town, right? And, uh, and then eventually they left another boxcar, which became the, well, the train station and like the, the ticket office, if you will. So that's pretty neat. It's got quite a bit of history. Uh, later on, in, in like the early 1900s, uh, a lot of mining and timber... Um, products were were what's what's the word i'm thinking of tongue-tied here let's just say that was a big industry back in the early 1900s so it went from agriculture to uh, mining and timber uh what else is neat about this area is there is a uh, rune stone a believed to be a viking rune stone so if you're into history at all like myself uh, which I very much am. There is a Viking runestone, um, also known as the, I think it's called the Hevener runestone, which is just on the other side of that mountain there that overlooks the valley, which is thought and believed uh, essentially to be a, a runestone possibly created by pre-Columbian Norsemen. Now, pretty much all scholars, schools, colleges, universities, whatever, will will try to, you know, cancel that theory because, you know, this is everything we've been taught in America ever since America. But uh, anyway, there's a, a runestone park over there across that mountain there, which is pretty neat as well. Um, so anyway, like I said, KCS, I did it again, son of a biscuit. KSC, not KCS, Jesus. Uh, it's a, a railway operation yard, um, which is here, a crew base, a fueling facility, and it's also the town's largest employer. I don't know how that's going to work with the whole Canadian Pacific thing happening here. But this is uh, this is most of the yard. I sat down quite a bit of rolling stock as much as I could to get some decent frames still without getting too you know thick with it and getting like five frames per second. Uh, so that's the yard there, and then you've got like a little maintenance area over here, and there's there's typically quite a lot of stuff sitting around here. Uh, but here's the uh, engine shed over here. So I got some sitting there being worked on or they just got worked on. There's a little Y right here where they can turn the engines if necessary, being that, uh, you know, turntables don't really exist anymore uh, in railroading in the U.S. anyway. And uh, it kind of just goes along through town here, which is really neat. Um, another thing that this, this map uses and is included is a lot of custom assets that are not from the aforementioned routes that you'll need off the steam store but they are included with the route in one condensed package that rarely rarely happens with freeware stuff so that's good news in itself uh, this is obviously the office right here you can see the, the big ass radio microwave towers and all that got another crew change van right there so you're going to get a lot of nice uh, uh i like these 2d characters too as well they're uh you know just got off their train headed home gonna go sleep for like three hours and then get a call at 2 a.m uh to hop back on a train but um so yeah that's included it's 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 all in the link which i will link below which you'll which you'll need to uh install to get all of what you see here uh but it, it was very well crafted this is one of those routes where you know personal passion went into it you could tell because if you look at uh, you know, Google Maps and pictures and things of that nature of this area, it just fits. It's pretty much one-to-one. -one. The roads, the trees, the buildings, the, you know, the maintenance yards like this here, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but it is a, a fantastic little area here. We got a little caboose and a park over here. So this is like a park, and apparently there's wild deer that uh, you can, like, chill with i guess in this area here just across this canal and there's an old caboose there as well and a semaphore signal 
and uh, it's just it's just really really well done. Um, I was pleasantly surprised when I uh, cracked this open and started looking at it um, the other day. But uh, anywho, this is Hevener, Oklahoma. I almost messed up that too. Um, and we're just going to head south and then start looking around. And we're going to go all the way down the line. We've got a lot to cover. I'm going to try and cover it as quick as possible just so it doesn't turn into like a 10-month-long a project like a lot of things I've, I've tried to do. And, you know, I get sidetracked and all that. So I'm going to try and crack this out as quick as possible. So let's go ahead and head south a bit. All right, so we're back in the yard in Hevener, Oklahoma. Going to go ahead and head south. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this area is kind of on the fringes of the Ozark Mountains um, or the Ozark area. Um, they're, they're, they're mountains, you know, they're kind of mountains, I guess. Um, essentially what it is is they're like drainage basins uh, that kind of head to the Mississippi River to the east, and that's where, uh, you know, the land is essentially flat right here but you'll go down 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 the farther east and south you go you'll maybe you kind of understand I'm, I'm not really explaining it that well but it is a a beautiful area they've done a really good job with the uh, the distant scenery and the mountains and trees and a lot of the shrubbery and the bushes and stuff like that making it look and, and feel alive and organic and things of that nature uh this over here this little spur here is the walden or waldron branch if i'm not mistaken we'll zoom on down here now i'm not sure when they built this route uh what era circa they were going for but presently the only thing down here as far as i know is uh the second largest employer in town which is okay foods which is like a a food mill but uh, this right here, if we look at it on the map, is an asphalt unloader. So that's something to do with asphalt. And then we'll go down here. Uh, this is IC, IGC. Not entirely sure what that is. And then that's the end of it there. So we'll click out of it and scooch down. It looks like some sort of uh, granary or loading facility here. Let's get down here. Yeah, here we go. So very large, nice facility. Uh, plenty of stuff to do around Hevener. Uh, if you know, if you're not into A to B runs and things of that nature. And uh, one of the things I appreciate about this route is not only is it massive. So massive routes like this, it's hard keeping them performance friendly. Um, it's it runs pretty well for the most part on my system. Some things I have noticed that I think are killing frames are. Uh, like spotlights or point lights that create shadows on the ground and the map and things of that nature. I think a lot of that is killing the frames uh, and other things. I, I don't know a whole lot about uh, map or route building or anything like that, but it's just some stuff that I've seen. <clears throat> Excuse me, but they've used uh, a lot, a lot of different uh, trees and, and, you know, grasses and bushes and things of that nature, which kind of represent and fit the area very well. Uh, you know, it's not all just one type of tree like you see on some routes. So some of them are older, like uh, this thing here. But uh, and there are 2D trees in the distance, which, you know, to be honest, I'm totally fine with. As, as long as the the distant terrain is not bare, you know, I'm totally cool with that. Because most of the time, what are you doing? You're doing this right here. So it's pretty much what you see, you know, front, right, and left. Uh, you know, of course, and unless you get up and move around and take pictures and things like that, then it's all good. But like from this angle right here, this looks amazing. This is very well done. This fence over here and the grass, just weeds growing up over there and whatnot. A lot of these assets were placed very nicely. All kinds of cool stuff just sitting around. You got a lot of loose uh, rail, replaced rail, things of that nature, ties, all kinds of stuff. We'll zoom up here. And I just I love how close in because you get, you know, you get around the, 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 the Mississippi River area and east and, you know, it's it's tree dense and grassy as hell. And I'm, weeds, you know, everything. So it's very close in and very green. Uh, and that's what's nice about this up here because it's almost got like a canopy like effect to it, which uh, a lot of the stuff on this side of the country can have. So this right here looks great love the uh, the bushes right up on the uh, right away there on both sides of the tracks 
little bits of rail here and there. And this is just a little branch line right here. That's all this is. Got some ties over here. Some cross bucks and signs. A lot of nice little custom signs. Look at that. Kansas City Southern Railway Company. This, this wasn't taken from some other route. This was made for this. And that is nice. Very nice. We'll scoot you up here. I like this road alongside the uh, tracks here. Got some other signs here. What is that? A whistle board? Yeah. I mean, there's yard limit signs. There's all kinds of stuff in this route. It's, it's, it's actually quite amazing. And it's a nice place. I will definitely be running it here in the future with some uh, KSC. I almost said KCS again. <laughs> With some KSC equipment and of course CP. So that's the other thing. Even if we don't have a lot of um, official Kansas City Southern equipment in the game, we do have some Canadian Pacific stuff. One of which is one of the best damn locomotives in Train Simulator. Um, so you'll be able to run those. I mean, hell, people are already seeing those on this line in real life uh, as of the last several months. Scooch all the way up here. Got another crossing. And that's the other thing. These were all nicely done. I, I can't look at every single one of these or it would take ages. But it's it's very well placed. It looks nice. A lot of the, the ground and the terrain textures look very nice around here. It's just uh, it's a good looking map. Especially this area here. Let's we'll scooch back over. Okay, which way are we going? Oh, let's go back up to that park there. I feel like it's called Deer Park something deer park or something like that you'll have to forgive me if you're a, a local or you've been here um ah here's one of the lights i've been talking about so they're at these uh these boxes and i don't know if that is kind of killing some of the performance um i guess you could go in and delete it yourself if you want um which i've done on a, a couple routes on occasion but there's an old uh, caboose sitting here with the bush and grass and weeds growing up around it some old semaphores. That's cool. Little tiny details like that. You know, it reminds me of like uh, Minerman's New York Bergen Line or um, Tomcat's Powder River Basin, etc. We got a, a, a Texaco over there in the highway. Now, that's one thing that I have noticed is it's missing some ambient sounds. You don't really hear water, birds, uh, cars. Let's get a little closer, see if we hear anything. Yeah, so it's silent. So that's not a huge deal, because like I said, what are you going to be doing 99% of the time? In a train, loud as hell, with great sounds, hopefully. And you're not going to hear Martha in her minivan going to the Piggly Wiggly, you know. So, But little things like that do kind of add to it. We'll keep on scooching down here. Now this right here, as soon as you get out of town, you got these tall pine trees on either sides of the track. This looks great. I love the way this looks right here. We'll kind of get a little bit higher so we can see all kinds of stuff here. Got some of the scenery loading in. You got to keep in mind, this is a big map now. Uh, this covers several hundred miles, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and even if even the the completed scenery on this map, even if you run from Hevener to uh, Ashdown, Arkansas, we're talking hours, hours. Got a little canal here, which looks pretty nice. Got some weeds and bushes and all kinds of stuff. Whistle boards throughout, and they're on the map as well. So let's see, whereabouts is we at? So we've got little horn uh, icons right there as well. They are all over the place. There's some as well. And I guess this is where Hevener essentially uh, begins. They've got the signals on the route as well. Um, you know, the switches and signaling, as far as I can tell so far, as much as I've been messing around with it, seem to work all right. Got another crossing here, which again, very well done. Got these nice uh, things here. Optic cable, buried optic cable. You see these for cable and propane lines and things of that nature. But this crossing is very clean, and they all look like that for the most part. This There's a little bit of asphalt floating right there, but that's not the end of the world. They look very good. And there's our signs again. Ba bam All right, let's keep scooching down. This as well. So one of the things in... I just... I hear something. There's some automobile sounds. Okay. 
<laughs> I was wondering what that was. Anyway, lost my train of thought. One of the things I like about this route, which you don't see that often, are the the right of way, the maintenance way, the the side of the tracks are often extremely clean, and it's just the rail bed, and then boop, and then dirt, which doesn't ever look that good, and then you know off to the side and infinity and beyond. They've got loose piles of just aggregate dirt, ballast, whatever, on either side of the rail bed here. And it looks great. It looks a lot more normal, looks a lot more realistic to me, and it covers up that that quick uh, transition from rail bed to ground texture. And we know, those of us that you know have played Train Simulator for a while, a lot of the ground textures don't look that good. So like this through here looks phenomenal to me this looks very very good and there's a lot of this throughout the route let's keep uh scooching here we're on a uh, shinkansen in oklahoma with this speed another crossing as well there's there's just places to take pictures galore i spent like probably four hours on this route the other day just taking pictures i didn't even i didn't even operate a train i was just moving around taking pictures but uh, all kinds of nice crossings. These do work as well. They do chime and ring and ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. You've got your uh, your old posts aside the track there. A lot of farmland. Speed boards, complete with speed boards as well. Now, it says passenger on there. Do passenger trains run through here? I honestly do not know. And the track equipment. Now, we're going to see a lot of good looking stuff like this. A lot of this track equipment, defect detector equipment. Um, this is very cool. It's cool to see stuff like this uh, in Train Simulator. You can see kind of the unburied cable there. Because uh, there's one farther up the line, which is like, it almost looks like a train wash. It's huge. And uh, I think they're unique to this area. I've certainly never seen one around where I live. The uh, solar panel. For the power train detection system installed in track all track work next 30 meters must comply with procedure that's cool Some more stuff right here amtick that's neat and you just got this nice little field over here with the uh saw grass or whatever the hell that is just full of ticks especially this time of year all right let's keep on skadooching you can see it's kind of spread out a little bit. Trees kind of kept off the, the main line a bit. And then here's our first cast iron bridge or whatever the hell it's made out of. But it looks great. Keep on going. Another little canal right here. Looks like it was done pretty well. Uh, a lot of the grass, you know, on the on the banks of the creek or the river or whatnot. Like, that helps immensely. Uh, in my opinion, with, with uh, water in a train simulator. Instead of just having a sheer, you know, bank that drops down into the uh, abyss, if you will. Keep on going. Lots of trees around these parts. Lots and lots of trees. Got another crossing here. Complete with a very nice little couple of homes. Some very nice cross box as well on the post with the lights. Another buried cable thing there. Some ties, some rails. Like, this is what I'm talking about. This, this lets you know this was made with a passion. When we get a lot of stuff from, say, like, uh, I don't know, we'll just say Dovetail on the Steam store. Like, it's missing stuff like this. It doesn't look, re it's like too clean, uh, if you know what I mean. Let's see, this town here, this is, uh, I think this is Hodgen. Little town called Hodgen, so it just kind of runs through Main Street over here. Little itty bitty town, got a nice big old church model sitting there. Excellent for uh, picture opportunities. Got lots of ties and replaced rail sitting on the side here. Keep on scooching on down. Another box and a signal. What's that thing right there? What is that? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Forgive me. All right, let's keep on going. A lot of farmland, though. And you can still see, you get up a tiny bit or just get one of these open spots, and you can see those rolling mountains and hills in the uh, in the distance there. 
it's gorgeous scenery and it's i think that's why i'm so just uh just taken by it because this is not an area in train simulator that we've really explored like yes we got the monroe sub the livonia uh route but it's you know it's okay but it it's not this it certainly isn't this and it's it's farther south and a lot more flat um in southern louisiana but this this is a unique area you know and it's just it it shows just muddy riverbanks here see with this i totally get this because you see they you can tell right here this is kind of swamp land if you will just marsh bay they didn't just do the the grass texture into the water i mean a lot of the stuff in the south and near the mississippi is fairly muddy for the most part uh in areas um another nice bridge as well but there also are uh you know rocky rivers and and things of that nature rocky bottom rivers around here as well i'll keep scooching down it's just it's great scenery out here i don't know how many damn times i can say it but uh, i will continue to do so got another cross in here as well some silos and you can tell we're kind of getting into the the rolling hills here keep on going around the bend and again with the uh the maintenance away the right away here on both sides of the rail bed look at the uh the stuff just built up mounded up on both sides that looks great i love the way that looks keep on going a little bridge a little road goes under there it's pretty neat So we're kind let's look at the sun where's where'd the sun go all right we're kind of headed east now big old river here I thought, what what river is that is that that's not the little river i get i get them mixed up i i feel like I, it's in the back of my mind i can't i can't yank it out of there all right we'll keep on going some more just deeply forested scenery look how great this looks i mean some parts of that you know are very noticeable especially with 2d trees because they don't cast shadow uh if there were a couple more three like take these these coniferous or pine trees here for example what are those spruce trees i don't know i don't know trees that well sorry uh they cast shadow so it kind of helps with that bare uh ground you know what i'm saying and then there's the the 2d which doesn't really have a shadow and so it's just a bit bare but that's you know there's a few areas like that but it's i honestly don't really care that much this is a this is a great route otherwise this is a um we'll call it like a, a engineer's eye view route another big old bridge old trestle there you can start seeing some of the mountains in the distance here Keep on scootily -ooching. So things, I didn't really go over what goes up and down this route. If you don't happen to know, uh, a lot of damn grain. <laughs> a lot of grain goes from, uh, is exported into Mexico and afar. Uh, and it goes south, essentially the way we're going. Uh, oil coal a lot of coal from the powder river basin or at least used to be anyway so it's not uncommon to see uh you know big orange or big yellow down here bnsf or up uh, on occasion or, or mixed in with trains uh, and things of that nature it's not uncommon at all so they got the farm freshly plowed ready to plant or seed you can see the mountain in the look at that just that distant shot there see the horizon all right, here's one of the uh, unique, very intricate uh, defect detector things right here. These are awesome. And they look really, really well placed on the route. I mean, this thing does it all. It's crazy. It is crazy. There's several of these as well, if I'm not mistaken. But even this, I just noticed this. Even this pin with the, uh, the hay here. Like little, little attention to detail like that. I like that. I like it a lot. All right, we'll keep on going. 
Need some like banjo music playing in the background or something. Another little bridge. You know. Da da dong 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 from uh, Deliverance. <laughs> that was supposed to be West Virginia, I think. All right, we'll keep on going. You can see the trees kind of start to change a little bit. Another bridge, but bam. Now that doesn't look as good. That there. Um. But yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Let's keep on going. It's getting a lot more hilly. It's uh, considerable grades out here. Uh, a lot of these trains have, uh, you know, middle units, end units, uh, lots and lots of units, if you will. But even this right here, where it's skirting the side of this mountain, this cutout, looks fantastic. You know, you've got all the weed and stuff growing up on the side, the extreme bit, and then you've even still got some of that, uh, like, 2D ghost grass what I call it, on the sides here as well, which uh, I think that's the uh, procedural grass it might be. But like this view right here, look at that. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Keep on going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, come on, come on. It's getting really damn scenic out here, I'll tell you what. Keep on going. Another speed board we just passed over. The first sighting we should get to uh, where trains wait to uh, attack the, the mountain, if you will, is Page. So that's what we're working our way towards. Got a little road here. Track maintenance and whatnot. All right. Earl Pump. Nice. All right. So here's Page sighting. This, this is one of those, like, backdrops when when you see photos of it you know online or whatever you kind of like know where it's at um just look at that that's gorgeous and back the other way it's almost kind of the same thing there that mountain there so this is where trains wait uh you know either coming down the mountain or going up the mountain um and then from here we'll kind of do some uh some flybys or action shots of uh trains attacking the grade because from here it's it's extremely scenic it's almost like a mountain pass but like i said this is just a very brief part of it and if you get a little high up with the free cam like this you'll start to notice some things don't look quite finished or quite uh completed if you will as far as like foliage and things of that nature but again you know my my reasoning for that is you're going to be right about here right and from this angle, I don't know about you, but this looks pretty darn good to me. A little spur there. Team track or something like that. All kinds of just crap sitting over there. Rails, ballast, barrels, bags, ties. It's got it. And it looks great. And then this kind of curves around the radio tower there. Another nice little feature. And there's also this highway that follows alongside here. Because it's kind of like down in the valley. Even though it's considered a mountain. Um, and we will head due east. You can see the sun now. I believe it's about 9, 10 a.m. in the morning. I have it set to. And we just kind of start. Head big old waterfall right there. And we just kind of start heading east. And back that way is west. And uh, we'll watch some some trains attack the grade and whatnot
I just realized I was saying it right. I kept getting mixed up with uh, KSC and KCS. It is KCS. Jesus H. Okay, anyway, we are at the southern end of the map. Now, you may notice that it's a bit unfinished, and like I said at the beginning, it will be. This is still technically a beta or an unfinished route. You can see it's quite flat. We are in Arkansas, or better known as Arkansas. That way there goes down to Louisiana. And we'll go ahead and open the map up. This is about where scenery stops. So you can see it keeps going down. A couple interchanges, crossovers, things of that nature. And then that is Shreveport, Louisiana down there. So we are again right here. So if you think about it, we we went to like right here i think it's page yeah that's page that's that's where we went to earlier just that tiny bit that is the length of most routes on the steam store <laughs> what we just did this is the crazy grades and mountains which of course were the uh, bit in the middle we'll, t we'll take another little quick peek at stuff like that and then this down here uh, we are now in Arkansas, or Arkansas, as I like to call it. Um, where are we at? Where the hell are we at? Okay, right there. So anyway, we're going to go from south to north on this bit. This town is called Ashdown, Arkansas. Uh, it was a town with a lot of timber industry, which is why I have the camera panned over here. This massive ass uh, paper mill called Dompter Paper Company. Uh, but it's a town situated between the Little and Red River, and it was founded as a farming community in southwest Arkansas, essentially, because that's pretty much where we're at, is southwest Arkansas. So we'll zoom up here, and you'll start to notice, and this, this paper mill and the yard, by the way, looks really good. Um, I, I hope this area gets fleshed out a lot more, at least, because there would be a lot to do with this paper mill. Paper mills are big industry. Uh, my extended family and immediately fam immediate family sorry worked at one for many years the uh, st joe paper co in port st joe florida and i know what they smell like and i know what they look like i spent a lot of time around one as a youngin um but this looks this looks really good i like that we'll keep scooching this way so we're kind of getting into town here you can tell scenery will start filling in a lot more a lot lot more pizza hut get some pizza right now um we'll keep on going got our little uh little grocery stores looks like it's missing maybe a, a parking lot if you will little uh siding over here just maintenance cars ballast hoppers and whatnot um i guess they keep them here irl as needed uh, the town looks mostly finished. It's just, you know, a couple of things that could use asphalt or concrete, you know, for uh, parking lots and things of that nature. But again, this town was done right. You know, this wasn't just imagined up and placed down on a map. This was done right. This is how the town grid looks. Uh, it's it's very, very legit. That's a high school over there, that, uh, that little circular doodad that's like a track in a football field. They keep a couple engines here, which, uh, again, are a couple of very nice liveries that I got uh, for the SD70 ACES off um, uh, Train Sub Community, which I will link below as well. I believe these are 4K, too, if I'm not mistaken. Indeedly do. Looking good. All right, let's keep moving. Again, whistleboards all around. Nice. Love the old uh, flat nose semi trucks. Now this little area right here is cool. This is some old railroad stuff. So over here is like a little community or city park and they too have a caboose like a lot of these old railroad towns. Uh, now that's Western Maryland and you'll see why. So this is part of why, or not why they used the Hanover sub, but some of the assets they used. This was used as well, which is uh, those of you that know Hagerstown know this area very well. But the, the park here, IRL, kind of looks like this. It's just missing some, like, playground stuff there and maybe some plants and flowers and things of that nature. Now, this other bit of railroad over here is the Kiamichi Railroad uh, crossover. Well, the crossover is back behind us, but that's the Kiamichi Railroad. Uh, it's essentially former BN and Frisco trackage, uh, named for the Kiamichi River, and it's now part of the 
Ginny Z in Wyoming. Womp, womp, womp. Um, deflated horn sound. So yeah, that's that's Geneze and Wyoming stuff going on there. Um, didn't really have anything to put over there, so I just kind of left it blank for the most part. But there's stuff you can do over there if you if you'd like to. This is the uh, the crossover here. You say you got a diamond, which is very cool because you know us train nerds love us a good diamond. But it looks pretty good down here. I don't think it looks as good as Hevener, but it's getting there. You know, this this is a more wide open area. Um, this little bit right here is pretty cool. Just a little ditch or canal, if you will. Got a fire station over there. But these assets are great. But this right here, I do appreciate. I like this, this kind of muddy look to the side of the rail bed here on both sides. I like the color. That fits that looks like it fits this area in Arkansas to me. So that looks amazing. I mean, because look how different this looks than, uh, than Hevener, Oklahoma. It's like a totally different place, and that's awesome. That is very awesome. So we'll keep scooching up this way. Got a lot of power lines that cross over and things of that nature. It's big power grids. Got a lot of pine trees down here, which is, you know, you get you get down in this region in the south along the Gulf, and close to the Gulf, it's pine forest everywhere. Uh, so that's nice. I mean, these these guys that built this knew what they were doing. So there's there's definitely some tall long leaf pines uh, all around here, which makes total sense. Another cross in there. I mean, there's you know if you like tooting your horn, this is the place for you. Because there will be lots of times to do some tooting. <laughs> There's another one. And another one. This this bit here is pretty long and straight. I'm going as fast as I can. But, you know, there's still little bits like that. Like this farmland and the combine and the tractor trailers and all that good stuff. Little ranches and the fences like... You know, all this stuff still had to be placed down and meticulously, um, you know, taken care of and just completed. It's it's nice little little extra details like that. Keep going. See it kind of dried out on either sides of the track now. Got an old uh, some kind of team track or something there. This used to be a uh, let's see. Let's look at the map here. It's a great idea. I always forget to do that. Uh, let's see. Here it is, right, y'all. Wilton Team Track. Yeah, I believe that's where we're at. So this is a little town called Wilton. Um, this obviously used to be something, you know. I would imagine with this building here and that little spur there. Got the uh, the town church over there. Piggly Wiggly, FedEx, Hogly Wogly, Target. All kinds of nice tractor trailers. Real. That's nice to see real stuff like that, you know. McDonald's. Freaking Comp USA, even though they're not around anymore. I used to work at one when I was a, a teenager. <laughs> they uh they went they went under the the last well, I was there till the end essentially. So it uh it's kinda sad. Now these crossing lights are very cool as well on these cross box. And then of course we've got this box over here which has that nice shiny sided look to it shiny shiny it's cool when those are shiny it's not cool when a when a train itself is shiny <laughs> just my humble opinion long we're just we're just headed northbound right now it's it's not a crazy grade out here it's a bit of a sawtooth profile the whole way through this area for the most part uh, but this out here is relatively flat you can kind of tell just by looking at the map when the grades really take place big old plant right there some sort of granary. You can see they're doing some work right here, which is cool. Just little scenes like that are awesome. Got the road blocked off there. I love stuff like that. That looks amazing. All right, let's keep going. Got some sparse pine forest off there to the right. Probably uh, pine farms. You know, they, they grow pines for 30, 40, 50, whatever years. Then they go and cultivate them. They'll leave some. And then they replant. That's how uh, that's how paper mills work. 
So that's kind of what you see off to the right there. Make all kinds of paper goods. Keep on going. There we go. Boop. Got a bit of terrain loading in there. Another crossing. And we're going, and we're, this map is huge. It is absolutely huge. This is like a big ass chicken coop or something like that. Off to the left there. All right, so I know we're coming up to the river now that I passed that chicken coop. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I just want to say it's a chicken coop for some reason. I don't even know if it is. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a creek up here, which. Uh, so it's like a creek slash swamp. Another crossing. Uh, which is pretty neat because it's a, uh, a little area of like sequential bridges. Bam, bam, bam. So it's pretty cool. Here it is right here. So it looks kind of funky if you like get up high and look at it. But if you're down here and look at it, it looks cool. So there's a highway there going across the bridge through the pine woods. There's another bridge right here. Skabam. Another one. Skabam. And that's Flat Creek in that swamp back there. I believe that's what it's called. Next up, little town called Winthrop. Still following the highway over there on the right. Still got lots of pine trees. You know, it's the region. It's still relatively flat. It's like a bunch of storage or something over there. It's probably another farm. Here we go. Let's see. That. I think it's another creek. We got a KCS truck. Very nice. I almost said KSC. I, I swear to God. I just ripped my tongue out. Um, I believe this is Winthrop right here. This town. Just again, a lot of stuff just sitting everywhere. Very nicely, meticulously placed. Sighting, of course. Let's see. Let's double check. So that was Wilton. And let's see. Yeah. That was a little river. That was a little river. Son of a biscuit. Okay, so that was the little river back there that we crossed over. I didn't think it was yet. So this is... That's South Horatio. Hold up. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. That's Horatio. Did we already passed Winthrop? Yeah, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, come on. So that's Horatio. And this right here, this uh, these ditches, these embankments, these look really good. We have a lot of these uh, down here in FLA. Uh, got some right here next to my home. Matter of fact, the uh, Florida East Coast where it's a real steep like ditch or embankment like that on both sides of the rail bed just because you know poor drainage and whatever the hell else so that looks really cool that's a neat thing i haven't seen that and i don't think i've seen that in anything else in uh in north american train sim there's the fuzz look out everybody be cool everybody be cool all right we'll keep on going here See the trees starting to change a little bit. Terrain's getting a bit higher, looking a bit more dense. Another box. Single track again. Keep on scooching. There's another pretty good sized town up here, which the name of it always makes me giggle. It's not some farmland out there, possibly. I mean, this, this, this is like, this is pretty mega. Um, you know, I, I hope the guys working on this, uh, complete it and finish it and touch it up. Cause it's, you know, I'm, I'm super stoked about it because of the region, you know, where it's at. And, uh, this, this area, just like say the Midwest, you know, in, in the extreme Northeast and parts of Canada are just not represented in train simulator. And it's nice to see something like this. So again, some more ditches. Very cool. Got that almost Georgia red clay look. There is some, there is some red clay in Arkansas as far as I know. 
Some muddy Walters. Another cross in there. Middle of nowhere. So that ditch right there. Or uh, gully. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Looks pretty good. Another big old bridge. You know, maybe this. this maybe this is the little river right here. Yeah, this is the little river right here. Yeah. It's big, but it's called the little river. Don't ask. I don't know. Um, and this little pr place right here, I looked this up, Google Maps, just to double check. And it's here. It looks like it's been in disrepair or it's being torn down. But a little uh, little boat ramp and dock and fishing hut, you know, get you a, a warm beer and a fishing pole and just hang out. Got the bridge going across the river here. Doesn't quite look like the supports are in the water, but you can't really tell from up high. I'll keep on going. Looks a lot more scrub and swamp land out through here because it essentially follows a little river, which kind of remains on our left-hand side for most of the journey. It looks like they've been going through and replacing the uh, ties because there's just a butt ton of ties laying on the side of the track there, which is cool. A little ditch or creek swamp. Another crossing. Headed west and then now back kind of north. Old train bridge right here, which I just now noticed. That's awesome. That is awesome. Got grass and stuff on it. That's sick. I love that. I first time I've seen this. First time I've seen a lot of stuff. Very nice. There's the old track over here as well. That's cool as hell. That's cool as hell. That's the little river right there on the left. We're still following. Some more stuff. Big old pile of ties there. And then some more of the, uh, the kind of ditch look. Look at this. Dude, I haven't seen anything else like this in North American train sim stuff. Or just train sim for that matter. This looks epic through here. Epic. There's a speed board right there. Kind of getting a little more terraneous. You can tell we're kind of like down in a little drainage area here. Here's another uh, thingamabob. Check, checker doodad. <laughs> I don't know the precise name for these. I'm not even going to try. Um, but it's something to do with defect detecting. Another cross in this one's got some nice arms over it. And some towers. Those look very good. So that must be a, a pretty busy highway. If they put that there, there's either been a lot of wrecks or it's a pretty busy highway. Still headed north. Still in Arkansas. This, by the way, is Arkansas. If I did not mention that earlier, this is, uh, this is essentially like west or kind of southwest Arkansas, if you will. Got the, uh, the main line up on the big old rail bed over here. It's probably a, a flood plain or has flooded. But look at this, man. Look at all those ties down there. I can't imagine how long it would have taken to place those. And not only place them, but make it look good. You know, they're placed just so randomly and just spaced out so randomly. It just, it looks right. They go open patch right there. Another radio tower right there on the right. Crew change van. Get them headphones off, damn it. It's a safety issue. All right, let's go. All right, next up, there's the power lines. Getting a little bit hilly. Trees are starting to change a lot, you can tell. The forested area is changing. A lot of tracks. A lot of tracks. I mean, this is like when I think of like, you know, Mississippi River Valley and in the east. This is what railroading looks like right here. Single track. Thickly, thickly with like five C's forested. You know, so they did a hell of a job with this. Um, but it's still got character, you know. Some might find that boring. I certainly do not. Uh, but it just, it looks right. Big old mill right there on the left. Keep on zooming. All right. 
we have arrived at De Queen, Arkansas. <laughs> Interesting town. A uh, little teeny tiny backstory about it. Uh, it's a mince mispronunciation i can't even pronounce shit uh sorry i said the s word youtube please don't get mad um it's essentially a mispronunciation of a dutch merchant and railroad financier's name jan de Gizien, or something like that um so you know being settlers and early americans we can we can hardly speak english anyway right so we just butchered the the poor guy's name and apparently he wasn't too thrilled about it so this is it right now this is the queen so kcs obviously runs through here and the dq and err which is the de queen and eastern railroad which is a uh, a short line and crossover and they've got quite a bit of operations around here as well so it heads on that way essentially west southwest uh, this is their line here. Again, we didn't really have anything I could really think to put down, so I just kind of left it bare. Uh, but this is like their their op center over here. Uh, you know, maintenance area, all that good stuff. Their line runs on that way. And it's, you know, it's it's here. You know, if we ever had some, some DQ and ERR, you know, skins or whatnot, we could for show sure do some stuff around here. It's a big, nice building here as well, and these are, uh, yeah, that's that's some that's some craftery, that's some craftery right there. Readily deep, very nice. Putting putting assets of buildings together. Love the way that looks. Love the way that looks. Looks like an old train station or something, an old train office or something like that. But uh, anyway, so yeah, that's that. Um, this is all their trackage over here. They do keep a ton of equipment over here. They've got several engines and rail cars. Let's get you back over to the town. The Queen's a pretty good sized town. I think it might be bigger than Ashdown. Now, pay no attention to that. Yes, that is from Stevens Pass. That's why it's kind of hidden. But it's a damn good looking asset, and that's why it was used. So, all right, now I'm getting lost. Where the hell are we at? Uh, uh, Okay, no, yep. Here we go. Here's our line. Okay. So this goes through town. A lot of old mills right here. Some of them used to be rail served. I do not believe they are anymore. But again, a lot of just mixing of different assets. It looks fantastic. The place is huge. Uh, probably makes it a lot of noise and a lot of stinky, as a lot of these places do. You can see this old uh, spur right here growing over, which looks very cool. very cool another one right here look at that that looks awesome i love all this like trash and crap all over the ground that looks awesome awesome dead end right here little diner that's from the hanover sub if i'm not mistaken i think it is a little uh it's like a mexican groceria yeah something like that very cool. And so, yeah, that's De Queen. It's just fun to say De Queen. I don't know why it sounds, you know, we just messed up some poor Dutchman's name and now the, the, the town is called De Queen. You know, it's just it's how stuff happens. This right here looks very excellent. This kind of big old bridge here with grass and whatnot growing on either sides. And this up here is the KCS yard. So they keep stuff right here. Trains will stage. Move stuff around as needed, all that good stuff. I just sat a couple random ass cars down there just for funsies. That is the uh, De Queen Yard, KCS De Queen Yard. This right here is the bypass, so I believe you would take that to uh, get around the yard there. And this is the main line, right, chow? So we'll keep on scooching. This right here looks very good. This kind of just filled in ditch right there with poor drainage. Water probably sits there all year round, breeding the hell out of some mosquitoes. We'll keep on going. Terrain's starting to change a little bit again. Definitely getting a lot more hilly. The trees are starting to look different as well. 
Still got just rail and ties all over the place. I mean, this is what stuff looks like. You know, I don't know if it's like a, an eastern or, you know, southern thing or whatever. But, you know, as far as I've ever seen, it's what it looks like. These these railways are not clean. They're, they're always replacing or fixing or repairing something. Uh, so that looks really nice. A lot of stuff sitting there. Keep on going. Boom. Pine trees. Ba-bam. <laughs> Pretty high up over here. Nice little gully over there to the left. Or holler. That's what they call them in Arkansas. Holler. Or hollow. Just sounds weird saying hollow. Like you're saying hello. How are you? Alright. We'll keep going. Another crossing. I'll pretend to blow the horn. Keep on going. Big old overpass right there. Very curvy. It's a little bit slower through here, obviously, but the average, uh, some random piled trucks. Billy Bob, you left your damn truck by the train tracks again. How many times I'm going to have to tell you? Um, Here's another big defect detector doohickey. These are cool as hell. I love the way those look. Yeah, so apparently uh, KCS does have stuff like that on this line and some of their other lines. Which is uh, pretty unique. Lost my train of thought again, sorry. Uh, speed, yeah. the I think the average speed around here is about 40. Uh, until you get to the super twisty stuff or you're tackling the grade. Good luck. Unless you got a lot of power. So we're obviously a lot higher now. This is one of those areas that there's a lot left to be desired. Um, you know, maybe some more 2D trees just to fill the back end. And then put a couple of 3D trees on, on the foreground there. Um, but, you know, again, it's not it's not a finished route. So it's totally understandable. Totes, my goats. Big old curve. We're still scooching. Big power line grid flying overhead there. Speed boards. Doo -doo -doo. It's a challenging place though. I have run uh, a little bit through here with some dash twos and a, like a 60 car consist. And it was, you know, I wasn't just sitting back twiddling my big toes um you know it, it took some doing so another bridge double bridge all bridge do bridge one bridge two bridge <laughs> that looks cool i like that very nice first time i've seen that very nice all right keep going big old hill crest right there this is, yep, there's the lake. This is uh, Gillum, Arkansas right here. It's another little town. A little one-horse town. Don't even know if they have a traffic light. That, that's how uh, towns are rated in, in the south and the east. Is if, it, if it doesn't have a, a traffic or signal light, it's not that big, I guess. That's the aptly named uh, Gillum Lake right there. We just passed. Big wide open area. Now something I noticed with this area is I'm getting these weird shadows down here. I don't know what the hell that's coming from. I don't know if there's like a light point coming from somewhere or if it's like a con conflicting texture or something of that nature. But uh, I've seen it in this area in particular so I'm not sure what's going on there. A lot of farmland. Doobity doo, and then there's another big place up here which we'll get to shortly. Another crossing, ponies, which is a very important uh, part of the area. Large employer, and uh, a lot of stuff that uh, the KCS handles. Um, this area that we're coming to here. Another crossing. Nice little old farmhouse there. It just looks great. It just, it looks natural. It looks like, uh, I don't know. I get nostalgic. I've never been here, you know, ever in my life. But 
a lot of a lot of this region of the U.S. kind of sort of looks the same and has the same kind of look to it, and that was translated well in this route. It just it it looks legit to me. Big old bend right there. Keep on going. I like the uh, the dry stuff and the scrub out here in these fields. It's a nice change of pace. Looks a lot different. Neat little crossing here. Another big chicken coop. I don't know what that is. I'm just going with chicken coops. Very thick through here again. Running through the first. Power lines. Look at that out there. Damn. That's nice. That's very nice. Keep on trucking. All right. Another big old turn. This is the curvy bit through here. We'll get down on the ground. So we're climbing. Anything you see coming out of here uh, in, in YouTube or IRL vids is full dynamics, baby. Screaming away. It's, uh, it's something cool to see. A big old plant right there. And another crossing. Looks very good. Look at that ramp right there with the semi trucks back up too. That looks nice. Another another double, a double doozy asset thing kind of mixed together. You know, several assets or buildings in one there. That looks great. Looks very great. Tony the Tiger would love it. Big old rail bed change there. That's pretty cool. And look at that. Look at that son of a gun right there. Woo! That's a damn hill. Good lord. That's a big one. That's a big one. Alright, we'll zoom on up here. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Around the bend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Some more pine trees, pine forest up here. Some spruces. Another siding. For the big old trains. Intermodal. Coal. Grain. Earl. You name it. It all comes through here. Down to uh, origins elsewhere. Uh, down into Mexico. Down into the ports in Louisiana to be exported. A nice little town here. Little team track there. Left is the main. Another crossing. Overpass there, very nice. Another big old turn. Another big turn. See, I would, and I've seen this question. I'm, I'm sorry to get off base a little bit here. I've seen this question. People say, why don't you run trains on these when you're doing these? Because I'd like to show off a majority of the route. And if I ran a train, that would be a 10 hour long video. So I try to do little snippets and clips and things of that nature. And then just zoom through the map. Uh, in case, you know, you'd, you'd like to know or see the map itself. And consider picking it up and, uh, you know, having a go at it yourself. Alright, so this is another big area of the map right here. It's a little Y. Our triangle right here. This is Martin Marietta. Uh, and this is the Hatton Quarry. So this has got little uh, little signals there out onto the main. This yard limit blinky. This is a huge quarry. Got this sign right there. Very nice. It's like we got a rock train loaded up. Ready to scooch on out of here. 
you ever do so i don't this it's an aggregate facility i don't know exactly what they do but i do know martin marietta that's a very well-known company uh they got places all over the u.s and even abroad if i'm not mistaken but it's a big damn quarry uh it looks like they draw some water out of there there as well you can see a big old quarry mountain over there this is another place on the map it's pretty cool because there's a lot you can do here um there's just a whole lot going on, and it was modeled nicely. I like all the crap, all the all the spoils and whatnot on both sides of the tracks all across here, you know, because it would look like this. There's crap everywhere. If you go and look at this place on Google Maps, you can't even see where the damn tracks are. So they did a really good job uh, making this look legit. And it's just all kinds of different aggregates, trains in and out. There's Operations Tower right there. And a loader here dumper there just a huge facilita big old damp trucks <laughs> front end loaders earth movers it's a big area and it's pretty it's cool it's pretty and it's cool it's pretty cool it's a it's a neat area so that is right about chill yep so that's where we're at that's martin marietta and then up through here, um, it's it's still a lot of really good looking land. Uh, and then it kind of scooches over and uh, heads west. This is over like Rich Mountain and the really beautiful scenic areas, which uh, tried to portray with uh, some of the videos. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. I tried to cover as, mu as much of it as I possibly could without making it a massive video and uh, just maybe letting you guys know about the route in case you didn't know because it is a free route. You need a few things to use it, yeah, but it is, you know, if you're into North American freight trains and wanting something other than a damn mountain pass, then go check it out because it's, it's pretty darn good. But uh, it will be linked below as with some of the, uh, the repaint packs. So you can just get going and run some stuff up and up and down the hills of this uh this beautiful country that uh that was created for it but anyway that's it guys i appreciate you being here and uh taking the time to watch and thanks to the guys that made this map and i hope you finish it because it looks really good but that's it i'll see you next time take care out there folks bye